Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna continue our project long necklace and we're gonna do this Queen Victoria pendant. I just came up with this just now and before I forget how I did I wanted to make a tutorial. Um, it's quite easy actually. It's a spiral stitch and then we just turn it into a circle. So you know and you end up with this gorgeous result. I'm really happy how it turned out. I was actually aiming for completely different stuff and but you never know what you end up with when you're working on designs. So, so you're gonna need some uh, rondelles. I'm gonna be using this uh, really petite rose gold color. It's really pretty. And then you'll need some 3mm fire polished beads. I'm gonna be using some uh, light amber and bead to match my uh, beads here. And then you'll need some 11 or Tohos. I'm gonna be using this white, so I think these colors go well nicely. And then you're gonna need a uh, beading thread. I'm gonna be using Naimo D white. Then you'll need beading needle size 10. And then you'll need the scissors to cut the thread. So that's all the materials you need. I'm gonna thread my needle with two yards, get my beads ready, and then we'll get straight to work. So I have my beads ready, I have my thread two yards on a needle and then we'll just, you know, get to work now. So this first we're gonna do a spiral stitch. So I'm gonna pick up one rondelle, one eleveno, one rondelle and one eleveno. This has six by eight rondelles by the way. So I have these two beads. Well, four. You need one rondelle, one eleven o, one rondelle, one eleven o, and then I'm gonna drop it down and leave a short tail that they can just sew in later. You can just hold on to it like this for now, and then I'm gonna pick up six eleven o's, three, four, five, six, one three mm fire polish, and six eleven o's, three, four, five, six, and then I'm gonna go through all those beads. And then I'm gonna pull my thread. So I can zoom in a bit more. So this is how it looks like in the beginning. Now you need to pick up one rondelle, one eleven no. Drop it down. Keep the last uh, row of eleven no's you added on your right. And then pick up six eleven o's, three, four, five, six, one three mm fire polish, and six eleven o's, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go through the top two rondelles and two eleven o's. So I'm gonna pick up this rondelle, go through the eleven o in between, through the rondelle, and come out of the eleven o. And then pull my thread. Oh, that's what it looks like now. Then you pick up one rondelle and one eleven o. Drop it down. Keep the last row you added on your right. Pick up six eleven o's. Five six one three mm fire polish and six eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go through top two rondelles. Through the rondelle, through the 11 o, through the rondelle, and through the 11 o. And then pull your thread. And that's what it looks like now. I'm gonna show you two more times how to do it. Pick up one rondelle and one 11 o. Drop it down. Keep the last row you added on your right. Pick up six eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five, six. One three mm fire polish and six eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go through top two rondelles. Through the rondelle, through the eleven o, through the rondelle, and through the eleven o. And then pull your thread. Pick up one rondelle and then one eleven o. Drop it down 
and hold the beads like so and keep all the last row of 11 O's on your right pick up six 11 O's one two three four five six one three mm and six 11 O's three four five six and then go through the last two rondelles this rondelle through the 11 no through the rondelle and through the 11 no and pull your thread and continue like that until you have 13 rondelles and i'm gonna meet you back here so here I have my 13 units. Now we have to turn it into a circle. Now it's gonna be a bit confusing if you don't follow along. So just watch carefully what I'm doing and do exactly the same thing and you should be fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and keeping all the things, all the 11 O's on the right side, I'm gonna turn it into a circle like this. You know, just help it to kind of give it a shape a bit. And now I'm going to take my needle, that's where I'm coming out of. I'm going to go through the first uh, rondelle and through the first 11 on this side. So just the rondelle here and the 11 that goes after that. And then here I'm just going to hold down the tail here. Take this one and pull the thread. Just carefully so all the beads stay inside. Like so. And now I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to go ahead, take my needle, take it under the beads on this side. Just lift it up a bit. And then I'm going to bring it out on the inside of this circle. Just pull it like that. Pick up six 11 O's. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, three mm. Six 11 O's. One, two, three, four, five six same sequence and now i have to see where my thread's coming out of my thread's coming out of here so i'm gonna go one two a second rondelle down this is where my thread's coming out of so i'm gonna pick up last two rondelles and come out of the same place where my thread's coming out of so i'm going through the rondelle through 11 0 through the rondelle and through 11 0 and then pull your thread And this is what it's gonna look like and what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna pick it up in my hand it looks like a jumble of things but don't worry it will all get fixed once we're done and now here I'm just gonna take my needle through a couple more beads just to be on the safe side pull your thread nice and tight on both ends I will take through the 11 now here. Make sure you're coming out of the 11 now. And now here, I'm gonna go down the beads. See this beads, 11 nose going down to the inside. And I'm gonna come out through the 3mm fire polish. And then pull the thread. And now I'm coming out of the 3mm fire polish. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the next 3mm in the next unit there. And then I'm gonna pick up 3mm here. The next one. So I'm just going in a circle. You can wait, I have to pull the tail a bit here. the thread. Now I just want to go ahead and pull the tail here a bit. And now all I'm gonna do is just go round until I connect all the 3mm fire polish. See I'm coming out here, I'm gonna go through the next one. And through the next one here. And through the next one here. 
don't skip any on the way see this is where I'm coming out of the next one is this so that I'm gonna pick up the 3mm there and then here's another 3mm on my way And see, this is the first one I was coming out of. I can see the thread coming out of it. So we made the whole round. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my thread. Nice and slowly. So all those three mm's come in a circle. Just lie it down, pull your thread. And it's not gonna look like a circle yet. What you have to do is just go round and round through those three mm's until they align properly. You just have to give them a bit more support. So just one by one, I'm gonna keep going through three mm's. And every time pull your thread nice and tight, giving support to all those beads in a circle. Next one here. Go through the next one here. I think in the first one I did, I made like two or three rounds to get that proper circle inside. Because the more you support you give, the more properly they'll be aligned. thread go through the next one pull my thread go through the next one pull my thread go through the next one pull my thread See how it's turning out? So you just go, keep going round and round and the more support you give, that circles are gonna be like really nice circles. See here? You just keep going round and round. You just have to give support and pull the threads all in place. I think it's best to go one bead at a time. Pull the thread. Go through the next one. Pull the thread. Go through the next one. Pull the thread. Go through the next one. Pull the thread nice and tight. Go through the next one. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna stop here because I can't go through the next beat. So all I'm gonna do here coming out of the 3mm, I'm gonna go upwards. And here, I'm gonna go 
through the rondelle, through 11 nose, through the rondelle. I'm gonna make one circle round before I add the loop, just to give extra support. Can be hard, but you can manage it. How it's turning out? Beautiful. now here I'm gonna make sure I'm coming out of the rondelle not 11 now see I'm coming out of the rondelle I'm gonna pick up eight 11 nose one two three four five six seven eight make sure it's eight and I'm gonna go through the same rondelle through the other side And pull the thread and now I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this go through the beads here and then through the rondelle and pull your thread nice and tight so it's not loose and look how it looks now and now I'm gonna go ahead take my needle and come out of the fifth bead so I'm gonna go two up three more so I'm coming out of the bead number five so I'm basically I'm gonna work with the top two eleven o's and now I'm gonna pick up two 11 O's, go through the top two beads through the other side, go down those two beads I just added, and then go back through these two beads. And you guessed it right, we're doing ladder stage and we're adding the loop. And now, we're gonna go through the top two 11 O's, pick up two 11 O's, go through the same two 11 O's on this side, through the other side, pull the thread, and now reinforce. Go through the two 11 O's up, pre previous two 11 O's down. That's reinforced. Pull your thread, go through the top two 11 O's. I'm gonna show you how to add two more times and then I'm gonna let you finish off the loop on your own. Pick up two 11 O's, you go through previous two 11 O's and before you continue, you're gonna reinforce this unit. Go through this two 11 O's, go back through the initial two 11 O's, pull your thread nice and tight at this point, then go ahead and continue on. Go through these two 11 O's, pick up two, go down previous two, and before you continue, go ahead and reinforce, go up, 
go down the previous two. And then continue, go through these two beads, pick up two more, add to this one, reinforce and so on. And you wanna continue until you have enough length to go around your necklace. I don't know how thick your necklace is, so I'm just gonna keep on going until I have enough loop that I can attach back to the base. So once you have the full length, I'm gonna meet you back here. So here I am with the full length I need. Now I'm just gonna turn it into a loop. See where my thread's coming out of? This is the last two bits I added. I reinforced it first and they came back to the top. So my thread's going up. See the first initial two bits? I'm gonna go down. And then again, I'm gonna go back through these two beads. And when I pull my thread, I should have my loop, see? And now I'm just gonna go back through the two base beads again. At this stage, you wanna pull your thread nice and tight. If you think you can go through those two beads one more time, go ahead and reinforce this. Go back through the two beads at the top. And then down through the base two beads. I'm not sure I can, well, actually going fine yep and that's it and I have my loop so now it's time to get rid of the tail I'm gonna show you how to do with this one and the initial tail you can do on your own so I'm just gonna go down this three remaining beads here at the top I'm gonna go back through this rondelle through the 11 0 and come out of the rondelle. Here, I'm just gonna make one knot. I'm gonna pick up the thread under the beads. Take my needle through, small loop, take my needle through the loop and pull my thread. And now I'm just gonna go through the 11 now. Through the rondelle. Through the 11 now, through the rondelle. Take a couple more beads away. And then here I can go ahead and cut the thread. And now, same way, just get rid of this tail, make one knot somewhere and take it away from the knot and you are done. And then I'm gonna meet you back here. Here are my gorgeous Queen Victoria pendants. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like the shape. I think I'm gonna explore it a bit more. I thought to make matching earrings the same way, but they're a bit heavy for my taste. So I think I'm gonna try to make it smaller for the earrings. And I don't know, just have to figure out something different. I don't wanna do the same thing. But you can do the same thing. If you're, if you're happy with the weight, you can just, you know, add the loop here, different loop to attach to earring hook and you have yourself a gorgeous pair of earrings. Now I have this chain we made in the previous tutorials of long, Project Long Necklace and I thought it will go with these colors nicely. So it goes perfectly through the thickness of this necklace and same. Gorgeous, aren't they? I'm really, I think I like this color combo more than here. I think the problem I have with this one, I still like the look of it, but the problem I have with this one is the circle is not so defined. And the problem with that is the beads because the beads are not exactly, see some of the, um, some parts are transparent, some parts are coated. So it sparkles in different ways and it doesn't really give you a defined circle because of that. So I think, you know, if you want more look like this, I suggest to use one color ones. You know, you can have all coated or all transparent, but not like this. But I'm still happy how it turned out and 
I think it just looks gorgeous with this uh, chain with turquoise on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you'll stick around with me more for the Project Long Necklace. If you don't know what's the Project Long Necklace, in the description box I will leave a link to a whole playlist and you'll understand. I have like four necklaces there already. We did these necklaces in the tutorials. Then I made the uh, charms and then I think I made three other pendants. So this is a long-term project. I'm not planning to continue doing it every single tutorial. It's just a project that, you know, I would like to come back to sometimes when I have ideas for the pendants. So every time I didn't want to make a chain for it. So, you know, I just decided to segment it into different parts of the necklace. You have all sorts of different necklaces and then in the future you can make all sorts of different pendants to go with those necklaces. You know, you can just mix and match. So that's all it is. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. Please check out my other tutorials. I have tons out there. I'm pretty sure you'll find something you like. And stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.